So a liquid hydrogen rocket engine, in some regards, is like many other forms of rocket engine. It's a combustion device. Perhaps the simplest way to think about it is to imagine a very high performance jet engine. So you're running at much higher pressures, much higher temperatures, and higher flow rates of rocket fuel through it. And instead of aviation jet fuel, you've got liquid hydrogen, which is actually being looked at today for future aircraft and future jet engines. And instead of air breathed in through the front, you're actually pouring in liquid oxygen. So the key benefits from liquid hydrogen rocket engines stem from their performance, their environmental credentials, their ability to, to be refueled. What that translates into is there are three broad classes of applications. There's the upper stages of rockets, the acceleration part once you're above the atmosphere needed to get you to orbital velocity. There's their ability to be used in transport vessels to go between planets, say the Earth and the Moon, that's a kind of a tug. And there's their ability to deliver things back from the surfaces of other planets. So that's the lift off and the landing element from things like lunar missions. Pulsar's liquid hydrogen engine is special for a number of reasons. We're gonna build it very quickly in under a year. We're gonna make use of the most advanced manufacturing techniques that we can, additive layer manufacturing, for example. It's gonna be done at very low cost, considerably less than what space agencies are used to paying for their engines. And finally, and most importantly, we're gonna integrate that engine into a complete propulsion system, and we're gonna test that and potentially fly it in the UK to demonstrate its performance. We think liquid hydrogen at Pulsar is really exciting for a number of reasons. It hasn't been done in the UK for over 50 years. We want to bring that knowledge base back to the UK. There's very few other organisations in the world that have managed to master liquid hydrogen technology. Even NASA struggles with it from time to time. And it really gives you a competitive edge over everybody else who's working in the uh, well-catered for rocket propulsion world. So liquid hydrogen is unique and we're really excited about the chance to do some work on this.